Stan Jabalisco here to describe for you what a pin diode is. Pin coming from the abbreviations P, I, and N. It's like an ordinary diode with a PN junction, but that junction is modified by the inclusion of an intrinsic or I-type semiconductor layer. And you ask, what does intrinsic mean? That simply means a, a semiconductor such as silicon that has not been doped to make it either P-type or N-type. In other words, it's pretty much plain old pure silicon, usually silicon, uh, in a diode. What is this intrinsic uh, layer here for it pr creates a certain degree of separation between the P and the N type material in the PN junction while still allowing a junction in effect to exist and that separation uh, introduces a certain amount of dielectric like property to this layer greatly reducing the junction capacitance of the diode. And when you reduce the junction capacitance of a diode, you make it work better at higher frequencies, such as radio frequencies. So a pin diode, P I N, pin all in uppercase as an acronym, is in fact a radio frequency or RF diode ideally suited for applications such as detecting radio signals, mixing radio signals, and switching radio signals. So when you hear about a switching diode or a the diode in a crystal type crystal set type radio receiver or a detector an envelope detector that comprises nothing more than a diode or a mixer that contains a bunch of semiconductor diodes all at radio frequencies you're probably going to find that when you look closely at those diodes they are pin diodes that's kind of a neat sounding acronym <laughs> it has kind of weird implications at least to this um, warped fried electronic mind it does Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.